Let's talk about chopsticks. Um, growing up, I used chopsticks to eat pretty much almost all my meals. I mean, almost, almost all my meals were Chinese food anyway, so you just use like your chopsticks to eat rice, to eat noodles, to get you know the chicken onto your plate. Like you just gap song, right? Like you use your chopsticks to do everything. Um, and like that was when I was living at home. And then I realized that as I when I moved out, I stopped like I, I slowly reduced my chopsticks use. And like I'm reflecting on this now because I'm, my, my daughter is at the point where she wants really, really wants to learn how to use chopsticks. She sees all of us, you know, myself, my husband, my, my parents, um, his parents, um, his sister and, and sisters and all that. Everyone just using chopsticks. So she's super curious about using them. And so I started thinking about my own, like how I learned how to use chopsticks. And I actually don't hold them in the correct way. I've never learned the correct I mean I, I learned the correct way but then I always just default to the the incorrect way um, so I'm not like super confident in my chopsticks use anyway back to my story of chopsticks and how when I was growing up I always used chopsticks all the time to eat everything um, when I moved out I, I stopped using them and I started using more forks knives spoons and then you know that was when I first when I moved out and then I got married and then we had kids and I was just looking at our dishwasher the other day and what fills our dishwasher chops um <laughs> chopsticks some chopsticks more forks more spoons and and butter knives and some knives so I'm kind of in this procrastination phase of whether I want to teach my daughter how to use chopsticks and then also deep inside I kind of just want my parents to teach her <laughs> um, but I think and and just recently she learned with that one of those like little things that you can clip onto your chopsticks to help them learn and that forces them to make their you no know, like it has these little holes that you can put your fingers in and that it forces her to use them and um, my mom recently, so my mom the other week sh uh, shared a video with me her, of my daughter using chopsticks to, to get to eat noodles and it was like such a moment that she was super proud about, like my daughter just like grinning and everything. Um, so I don't know, it's, it's just a weird thing that's, that I've noticed about one of those cultural practices that I thought I would preserve but I don't and I only really use chopsticks when you know we get sushi takeout or we go out for Chinese food. Um, and sometimes I would use it to eat at home or like, you know, to, I don't know, like to get something that I really can't use a fork with. But other than that, like, I don't know if this is something that just happens over evolution of, of, of the food that we eat, even like, even though we eat all different types of food at dinner, we could use chopsticks for these things, but we just don't so let me know like well how what what you do in your families whether chopsticks use has just been like consistently there or is it something that's just kind of slowly declining also it's easy i don't know i just find easy using a spoon to eat something it just makes it faster <laughs> and time isn't exactly on my side so i want to do things fast um but but it also makes you eat fast and you should be more mindful of your i don't know Anyways, let me know. <laughs>